We are joined tonight by Jeff Fochman mm -hmm. from Pogo Plug. Jeff, it's great to have you here tonight. Hi, Jeff. Hey, how are you doing? Thank you. I, I can't compete with the four teeth getting pulled, but uh, yeah. very happy. Okay. But it was quite a week for you as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. Yeah. So uh, leading up to the release of the uh, the second generation Pogo Plug, of course, it was very, very secretive. Uh, we weren't allowed to say anything about this new device that was coming out from mm -hmm. Pogo Plug. Uh, what's what's the what's the big news? What's the big deal about this new second generation device that made it so secretive? Oh uh, yeah, well we like to be cloak and dagger. You know, we 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 follow our larger company brethren in that uh, regard. Now mm -hmm. the deal is, is that we're really this is uh, this is our go big, right? So uh, we launched the version one Pogo plug. We announced it at CES last year. Uh, we can't ship in uh, April of this year. And it's done great. We've got thousands of users. Uh, it's been a great platform for us to get user feedback and to get the name out there. What we've done this week, though, um, is we've launched the V2 unit, or we've announced the launch of the V2 unit. It's an upgraded hardware format. So instead of being a wall plug where you plug directly into your power socket and there's a single USB port, we've come out with more of a desktop shelf sitting form factor it now has four USB ports. And then we've added a host of about seven or eight uh, feature set functionalities that go with the software services side Beautiful. of the platform. So Jeff, um, just kind of backing up and just saying, okay, well, here's a, a device that, you know, say somebody has never heard of. What, just kind of what is the, the basic nature of this device? And understanding that, you know, one of the things that, that can be a little bit of a headache is, one, sharing files with people, uh, whether they be family or friends, even colleagues at work. Uh, that can be a headache. I, I received an email today, which we might be touching on, uh, somebody saying, you know, I've got this big file. It's too big for email. How can I send it to my, my work colleague? Well, the Pogo plug might be a way to, uh, to solve mm -hmm. that. Um, being able to uh, not just share your files, but also access your files from the laptop from anywhere in the world. How does the Pogo plug uh, achieve that? Yeah, let me just tell you, you know, at, at the most basic, what the Pogo plug is, is it's a piece of hardware, it's a device yeah. that you can plug external hard drives into. Once you plug those external hard drives into, you connect it to your home network. So let's say you plug it directly into your router. Yeah. Once you've done those two things from a hardware side, you can then access and share the content on any external storage device that you've plugged into Pogo plug from anywhere, as long as you have an internet connection. So... To your point, whether it's you do, using the Pogo plug for remote access when you're outside of the house or other computers within your house, or if you want to share either large files or share multimedia files in a delightful way with slideshows and things like that, it just makes all of those things very easy to do. To your point, it's a new category. So with that comes some description and some uh, over-the-top just messaging that, that we need to do. Right. There's really nothing like it, is there? Uh, that what you're saying there kind of brings me to two questions. One is, and I'll just say what I'm thinking is, uh, how difficult is it to set up a Pogo plug for a novice user? And two, uh, you you mentioned about being able to plug up to four USB devices into the second generation. What does that accomplish for us as far as data capacity, where the files are stored, how they're shared, things like that? Yeah. So I'll answer the second one first. Sure. Um, there's four USB ports, and we really look at that as unlimited growth. Uh, if you wanted to, you could even plug in a USB hub and even add more ports. So the idea is, as your digital life grows and as you continue to buy external hard drives or flash sticks and all of this stuff, you can just continually populate them onto your Pogo plug. Okay. Unlike cloud-only based storage, where you're either paying for that storage in the cloud and uploading, you're literally just connecting more hard drives that you've, you've gathered over the years or that you buy as you go. So you can plug as many in as you want. Um, as far as the first question, the setup side, that's something that we're really excited about. Um, the solutions in the market to create a home uh, share point or what we call a personal cloud uh, are actually quite complex to install. And I, I think some of your audience out there um, could do it much better than I. But we all know that there's a lot of people who would have no chance on installing a NAS and actually get remote access to work. Um, the way plug works is there's two steps to install, actually three. Uh, you plug in the power, you plug it in through Ethernet, connect it to your home network, 
uh, either through directly into your route, just onto a uh, Ethernet port in your home. Uh, and then lastly, you connect storage. So that should take up to 15 seconds, hopefully, as long as you know where all those things are. Uh, after you do that, you go back to any computer that's on your network, and it's the only time you need to log in on the network is the very first install. You go back to your computer, you go to mypogoplug.com, and once you've done that, we actually uh, find the Pogo plug and run the install for you. So there's no software download. Because you're on the network, we can find it through your network and we'll actually ping the Pogo plug on your network. At that point, you're live and you're ready to go. So we call it a 60-second install. 